Welcome to this introduction about the 10 common quality problems found with defective solar panels. We are Drikas and Niklas from the blog Xenovoltaics.com and in the next 5 minutes we'll show and explain you the 10 major common defects and quality problems of PV modules. Some buyers trust the manufacturer only because the manufacturer owns the right certifications and offers an attractive warranty and sometimes even good insurance conditions on its solar panels. However, there are few shipments which do not have any quality problems. During the production process of solar panels and solar cells, a various number of defects can occur. These defects are caused by mechanical forces, pressure, bad temperature control or erroneous contact and soldering points. The results of these defects are both optical lags of the cells and modules and the reduction of efficiency. During this first part of the presentation, we will have a closer look at five defects. These are the following. Scratches on solar panels, broken cells, micro cracks, interrupted contact fingers, and off-spec module performance. Let's get started with the first defect, scratches on PV modules. A major quality issue are scratches on the glass. On average, small and large scratches are found during over 96% of independent third-party quality inspections. For this I used the data provided by third-party quality inspection company Kiesen Solar Consultancy Services. Scratches are mostly the result of improper handling at the factory or caused by unsafe packing. A lot of manufacturers use an anti-reflection coating on the glass. These large scratches can affect this nanometer thin anti-reflection coating impacting the transmittance of light. Another major defect often found during quality control are the broken and chipped cells. They appear in the form of edge breakages, pinholes on cells, V-type breakages and corner breakages. Broken cells undermine the overall performance of the whole panel as its output is reduced to the lowest current cell. Usually, broken cells are caused during soldering which means the manufacturer could have easily replaced them. Micro cracks are the third most common quality problem and this is quite a serious and impacting issue. Many manufacturers do not pay enough attention to micro cracks. Most micro cracks are a result of mechanical forces or thermal stress. Micro cracks most frequently occur during lamination of the panel or during soldering. During the manual soldering operation, different thermal expansion of the copper and the silicon elements can occur at temperatures greater than 300 degrees. This temperature differential can result in the formation of micro cracks in the cell and thus leading to higher cell resistance. Undetected, micro cracks can result in a less than expected field lifespan. Micro cracks can be found through EL testing, which is an imaging measurement process allowing to peer directly into the cells of a PV module and locate potential inherent defects. Visually, micro cracks may appear in the form of the so called snail trails on the cell structure. However, snail trails can also be the result of a chemical process causing the surface of the cell to change, or hotspots. Therefore, visual checking of PV modules is not an effectual method to identify microcracks and should not replace a Thoreau electroluminescence check. The fourth defect are the interrupted contact fingers. During visual inspection and electroluminescence testing, damages on the front contacts, the so-called contact fingers, between the bus bar of the cells can be found. Technically, the contact fingers serve as charge flow channels. Light is absorbed and causes electrical charge carriers to flow along the contact fingers to the bus bars. If the contact fingers are defect or even interrupted, the flow of the charge carrier is reduced or even blocked, in total diminishing the power output of the whole panel. And the fifth and final defect of today is the off-spec module performance. PV module manufacturers increasingly promote their solar panels by guaranteeing constant and year-long power output with positive tolerances. Before the panels are packed and shipped, 
PV companies conduct final data measurements, the so-called flash test, and forward the data results to their clients. However, these tests are often not performed at the relevant test condition standards, such as STC and NOCT. When test conditions are not correctly simulated, results may lead to significant output and efficiency improvements. This way, customers are deceived by the would-be performance and the clients end up with modules that perform much lower than what they have paid for. Thanks for listening to part 1 of the most common quality defects of PV modules. Part 2 will be released very soon. In the meantime, feel free to contact us regarding any questions related to PV quality. Niklas and me were always glad to hear from you. Until next time.